Let's do a, another Confessions of a Nashville songwriter. Something I kind of wanted to talk about, you know, we work in Nashville and and it's an amazing town and I've talked about the talent that's there and it's crazy. Uh, but I grew up in West Tennessee, outside of Memphis. And Memphis, man, there's distinct differences between Memphis and Nashville. They're both great cities, I love them both. They're both river towns. And I grew up, you know, I guess about 11, 12, wanted a drum kit. I wanted to be a drummer, man. And my parents bought me a drum kit and I practiced and practiced and practiced and practiced and practiced. And I loved everything about it. And a buddy of mine brings his guitar and amp over to the house and starts playing some power chords and some little blues riffs. And it's like, wait a minute. I want to try that. So I did. Because, you know, growing up in Memphis, man, if you don't play guitar or some instrument, people kind of look at you like, are you weird? What's wrong with you, man? So off we went and played in bands and did all that stuff, and it was great. The difference between Memphis and Nashville, Nashville's like the prom queen. She's beautiful spray tanned up $400 salon hair visit and manicure and pedicure and you know you could just you're you're the man taking her out well, Memphis it's kind of like that girl that you know she's she's a girl you want to go out with and really have fun and but you probably wouldn't tell many people about it that kind of thing because most people in Tennessee, if you're not from West Tennessee, they think Memphis is in Mississippi, which it's not. But the music we listen to today, it started in Memphis. I wrote down a bunch of names that sort of came from or in and around Memphis. I wanted to go over a bunch of them. I know I missed somebody and I'm sorry and I apologize if I did. I just wrote these down from memory. So Elvis, Presley, Jerry Lee, B.B. King. Booker T and the MGs, Isaac Hayes, Ike and Tina, Bill Withers, 3-6 Mafia, Big Star, David Porter, W.C. Handy, The Bar Hayes, Johnny Cash, Dave Mason's a drummer. If I was going to start a band today, I'd start with Dave Mason, D. Mace. He wears corduroy pants because he loves the groove. I made that up. I bet he's never owned a pair of corduroy pants. Um... The Box Tops, Carl Perkins, Steve Cropper, Rivers Rutherford, Chad Cromwell, Jack Holder, Jimmy Jameson, I the Tiger, Jimmy Davis, Aretha Franklin, Tommy Burroughs, Andy Childs, Billy Burnett, Bobby Whitlock, Eric Clapton, played with Eric Clapton and I think the Stones, Duck Dunn, Eric Gales, Gary Talley was a guitar player in the Box Tops, Justin Timberlake, the ladies call him JT, I think, um, He's pretty popular. You might have heard of him. Uh, Dave Smith, bass player extraordinaire. John Kilzer, Rice Jury, Jim Enright, Buddy Davis, Tommy Cathy, Tora Tora, Blind Mississippi Morris, Good Question, Bill Marshall, Kirk Whalem, Saliva, Greg Morrow, Sean Lane, R.I.P. Sean, Skillet, The Memphis Horn, Van Duren, Wendy Moten, Al Green, Furry Lewis, Memphis Slim, Scotty Moore, played guitar with Elvis's band forever. James Burton, who's from Louisiana, but came to Memphis and then also worked up in Nashville. But man, it goes on and on and on and on. And, and it all started right here in the Bluff City, Memphis, Tennessee. So a lot of those guys migrated to Nashville. You probably heard a lot of those names if you're a studio musician or, or an artist or a songwriter in Nashville. And if not, you've either heard them play on albums or written songs or seen them live playing with the Stones. or Jim Dickinson, I think Jim early on produced the Stones. And it just blows my mind to be from this city and to be able to say... I'm a very, very small sliver or a small, tiny part of the Memphis music sort of heritage. And I hope I can honor, honor those guys who all came before me and sort of 
you know, laid the, the path and we're standing on their, their shoulders. So we hope what we can do, you've heard Rivers Rutherford, you've heard his songs. He's one of the best songwriters Nashville's ever seen. We hope that, you know, through what we write and perform and play that we honor the Memphis musical heritage because it's an amazing city. And so when you're hearing music on the radio or at a live venue, know that a lot of these musicians, man, especially the Memphis guys, they're gritty. Memphis has got soul. Nashville is beautiful and slick and awesome and amazing, and it's a great town, okay? And I love it. I love everything about it. But Memphis has got soul. Memphis has got grit, you know? Memphis is like that pocket knife your grandfather gave you, and it's rusty and, and been worn and sharpened a thousand times, but you carry it every day in your pocket because you wouldn't carry any other thing in your pocket but that pocket knife. That's like what Memphis is. So I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about that just so you know if you're not really familiar what goes on between Memphis and Nashville, and there's a, there's a very strong connection. And, you know, not to discount the bluegrass guys that came down from Kentucky and West Virginia and in that part of the country, it all sort of blended up and put it in a big pot. And right there in Nashville, Tennessee, that's where country music kind of was born from its roots down in the Mississippi Delta. And I'm proud to be a part of it. So I hope when you hear that music, I hope if you ever drive through Memphis, I hope you think about those names that I just mentioned and Google some of them if you don't really know who they are. And guys, who are, girls, if I missed you, I apologize. I'm sorry. I know that I did, but it was from memory and I was kind of in a hurry. So Memphis rocks, Nashville rocks, love them both. And I hope you all really understand what, what goes on behind the scenes now and get a little flavor of what we do in Memphis and Nashville. So next time you're driving through Memphis, honk your horn. I'll be listening for you. See you next time.